as Southern California has uh, determined that the stability ratios uh, at each of these locations uh, is is uh, less than one. In other words, no instability. Uh, these calculations are under review by the NRC. All right, Ray. Thank you. Thank you for your questions. I, I just want to make. You know, Go ahead. I just want to make it clear. Um, you know, th that was Emmett who um, was answering that. Um, he's, he's an NRC um, staff member who's uh, part of the review team. Um, I believe Mr. Lutz's questions were directed um, to what analyses the licensee had performed, and he was trying to uh, to answer those uh, based upon his, his review that he's done to this point. Um, and you know, I think that, you know most of the information or all the information that comes directly from the the the, the analyses and, and such that, that that he's he's reviewing at this point. Um, so I mean, I, you know, get, he can only answer to the point that he, he he's been able to get through that all that information at this point. All right, thank you, gentlemen. Is there another caller on the line? Your next question comes from Donna Gilmore. Your line is open. Hi, Donna. Hi. Having fun? Oh, we're having a great time here. We're glad you called. Yeah, um, I live in San Clemente. I manage the uh, San Ofre Safety dot org website, where I my goal is to put all factual information, a lot from you guys. Uh, and I've been attending these various NRC meetings, and I've learned some things. I learned uh, from Greg Warner, the the AIT team leader that you cannot test uh, steam generators. There's no technology that exists in non horizon. And that the only way that you know an operating steam generator isn't working is when it leaks radiation. Um, and, and then from Art Howell at the uh, last meeting, uh, I learned that um, there are some things that have never happened before that are happening with these steam generators. And then I know from your from your uh, website data that Unit Two has more more defective tubes plugged and more worn tubes than all other steam generators combined, other than of course Unit Three. And we have decades of premature wear. And what I've heard today, what I've learned today, is there's a whole lot of probabilities and predictions. So. As a, as a local resident, I right now do not have faith from everything I've heard that you guys can say with any reasonable certainty, and that's what you're looking for, a reasonable okay to restart. There just seems to be more unanswered questions, and I, I do not feel uh, safe with what I've seen so far. And the, the uh, calling Ariba an independent expert when they, they make money by selling uranium to California, you know, does not make them independent on that score alone. Um, and I think the NRC asked some really great questions here, but I don't think they're getting the answers they need. And, and uh, uh, all right. how, how, can you, how can you be reasonably assured, given everything that's happened so far, that this plant could ever restart and be safe for the resident. Okay, so that's the question these gentlemen are going to attempt to answer for you. Right. I think the simple answer to that is we haven't made that determination yet. We're still in the process. Uh, this is part of the process: is to ask these questions, get these, uh, and get the additional information, so we can complete our review and um, uh, and, and come to that, con you know, come to a conclusion one way or the other. Um, so this is we're still in the process. Um, so that I mean. It, that, that so will you be expecting? To, will you be getting answers from, uh, you know, Art, Art Howell? It, it brought up about these things that have never happened before, and nobody knows why. Will, will those kind of questions that he has will they be answered before you would give a green light for go ahead? Uh, you know, we're not quite sure what questions you're referring to, uh, Donna. But uh, you know, we've got on record that you're asking this, so uh, perhaps. We can talk to Art Howell and try to find out exactly what you're referring to. Okay. And, uh, okay. And then for the issue of the 70 percent, even after all these months, the, the concept of running at 7 percent, it doesn't sound like you even have the information you need right now to to know that. Is that correct? 
Could you repeat the question, please? Given all the months that have gone by here and all the investigations, is the fact right now that you don't have the information you need to make a determination if running at 70% is going to make things better or worse? Is that correct? I think the purpose for this meeting today is to indicate that there is additional information that we need in order to complete our review to be able to make a determination on that very question. Okay, so the 70% question, even after all these meetings and audits, is still up in the air. Okay, I think I have my answer. We have not completed our review yet. Okay. Thank you, Donna. Do we have anyone else on the line? Operator. Morgan Lee, your line is open. Hello, Morgan. I have a fairly narrow question. It's about a November 30th notice of nonconformance that was delivered to Mitsubishi. And this is regarding some mock-ups. Well, hang on, Morgan. Is this a question about the content of this meeting, these REIs, or is this a question for NRC having to do with this meeting? Well, I just wanted to know if those mock-ups in any way have to do with the REIs that were delivered to Mitsubishi. No one here is quite sure what mock-ups you're talking about or referring to, Morgan, but just a second. It was from October 9th through 17th. All right. Yes, my name is Art Howell. I'm from Region 4, but the inspection report you're referring to was issued by another NRC office. But the mock-up that's being referred to or is the subject of that inspection report, at least at this point, is not the subject of any of the operational assessments that were submitted by Southern California Edison. Okay. Thanks. Thank you, Morgan. And I think to go back to the previous question, or just motion to me a minute ago, I think what he was referring to during that meeting was that we have not seen the FBI-induced two-to-two wear, and that's what, you know, obviously that's part of the, that's a key part of this assessment in our review going forward is looking at that and seeing whether that's going to be, you know, whether that will occur or not. All right. Do we have another person on the line? Your last question comes from Gary Hedrick. Your line is open. Hi, Gary. All right. Thanks for listening to me again. Yes, sir. As you know, I'm founder of San Clemente Green, and I represent over 2,000 people that live in this area. And it's a general question about the fact that the information, such as 5059 information, is being withheld from us by Edison. And in light of the fact that we've seen how things can go wrong in Fukushima, Japan, it's so important to us to have all the evidence available to us. And the question really is to Edison, and why don't they make this publicly available? What are they hiding? And why can't we have the evidence? Okay. That's a question that Edison's here. They're not in a position to answer it, but they hear the question. So all I can say is they'll take it into consideration as they move forward in their plans, assessments of what they're doing, and their whole business process. I think that would be a huge step forward in order to raise public confidence in the process and make sure we don't overlook something important. So I hope they'll seriously consider it and realize that it's really damaging their reputation and image in the public if they don't reveal that stuff. Well, we appreciate your comments, Gary, and thank you for calling in. Thank you. Yes, sir. Anyone else on the line? Not at this time, sir. Well, I hate to say it, but all good things must come to an end. So at this point, I'd like to ask the NRC, do you have anything you want to offer in summary for everything for the day? Otherwise, I'll rest on my brief. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Hedrick. Thank you, Mr. Hedrick.